You're not looking for a recession, though, here in the United States, are you? Well, I think that uh, we could have a global recession sometime, say, starting in the fourth quarter of this year, early 2013. Yes, that's a distinct possibility. What would you put it at? If it's a, you know, on a scale of, say, what, 50 percent possibility, <laughs> one in three chance, where, where, would you, where would you rate it? I would rate it at 100 percent certainty. Okay. If but when for a recession is your viewpoint, why is that? Well, I think if you look at the world, we have essentially Europe, we have the U.S., we have China, and then emerging economies that depend heavily on China. Europe is already in recession. Uh, the German economy is still growing very, very slightly, but likely to go into recession soon. The other economies are in recession. The U.S. has decelerated, and I don't see much growth in the U.S. Uh, in the next six to nine or 12 months. If you would measure the cost of living increases properly, uh, real GDP would be negative. You know, the debate we're having here in the U.S., Mark, is whether or not the Federal Reserve should uh, do more quantitative easing, put more liquidity in the market. Bill Gross says he feels there's an 80 percent probability that they will do it sooner rather than later. What is your feeling on whether the Fed should provide more liquidity to this economy? Well, I think that if you look at the injections of liquidity and the interventions by the Fed, and also by the Treasury with fiscal measures over the last 15 years, it has actually already impoverished the U.S. economy. And so, yeah, they can print money and maybe the S&T goes up somewhat more. My sense is that the market, uh, the asset market, have pretty much discounted further easing already. So you would have to have Massive easing, I mean, a huge balance sheet uh, expansion to boost the SSD here meaningfully.